This is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And we are here at Powell Lake, and we're going to be trying to do a little bit of catfish fishing. And what this is going to entail, guys, this is going to entail using something that we call Hunter Vision. Now, what is Hunter Vision? It is a skill or attribute that you can purchase with skill points. That allows you to be able to see the fish underwater. That way you can differentiate the catfish from other fish such as largemouth bass, bluegill, crappie, etc. Now, I will tell you honestly, the catfish here are a little bit difficult to find. They tend to ha hover around these docks for the most part. I've seen them out around with the boats, but not as much. So, if you're going to catch him, you're going to pretty much find him in, in this area. And as far as times to find them, it seems like later in the evening is better. Uh, and at night. Now, I haven't honestly tried them in the early morning, and I'm thinking about doing that real quick here. So, let me go ahead and show you here, guys. There's a couple of techniques you can use to fish. Now, the one I've been catching them with, I've been basically doing a type of bottom fishing even though in this game you really can't bottom fish yet that hasn't been installed but there is a way around that and I'll show you that in a minute the other way is just to use a float rod and let me go ahead and show you my gear here and make sure that your float line is all the way down to 250 centimeters now supposedly I've been told they will actually come up swim up and grab the bait if it's something that they truly like. Now what you really want to fish with guys is as far as bait goes they will go for the small cut bait but they will really go for this large cut bait. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to equip two of them on here because I can equip up to two baits on there just to make it a little more enticing for them. And as far as other gear goes, I've got my Kubat S104. It's only a level 3 rod, but it's fine for what we're needing here. I've got a Dekino TLA, TLAD reel. And again, it's good for what we're doing here, even though it's a level uh, 1. I've got my uh, level 2 Okina TTU X1 line here. And my Kabat E77 hook. It's about a level 4 hook, not too bad. And I've got a level 3 float. So, and that's another Dekino. Apparently, these are brand names. But the important thing, guys, is make sure that the line is heavy enough to handle these guys. Make sure the hook's a little bit more advanced. And make sure you have a decently advanced bobber. Now, as far as the reel and the rod, eh. Not so much so far in this game. It may change over time as this game develops. Now, let me go ahead and resume back to the game here. Now, I was talking earlier about something called Hunter Vision. Now, what is Hunter Vision? As you're gaining skill points, if you go up here to... Now, you have to hit Escape to get this to come up. You go up here and you see this little guy here on the on second to the... Um, second from the left here and these are your skills and as you go up levels you get one skill point and you can cash these in on different types of skills like I've lowered prices in the store more experience for each fish I catch greater casting strength the ability to use boats which you must have when you go to Powell Lake but here's the one that I'm talking about hunter vision sea fish under the water 
looks like plus three seconds. So you got three seconds to basically see the fish under the water. And there are different levels of this. This is just Hunter Vision 1. There's a Hunter Vision 2, which I have already put in there. As, actually, no, I haven't. I've got to get that. <laughs> I put strength to, that's right. So I've increased my casting strength. But as you go up skill levels, you can add these on, and these will help assist you in getting through. And I believe the 3 level is as high as you pretty much go. After that, you're pretty much on your own. So... Let's go ahead and check out this hunter vision. Now, the catfish, how can you tell whether it's a catfish or not? Well, the trick is, is mainly to see where they're swimming. And that is, if they seem to be hovering around the bottom, more most likely that's a catfish. Now, let me show you how you do this. You hit the H button, and you'll hear a heartbeat. Now, you can see those little green things swimming around. Obviously, those are fish. Now it looked like we had us a catfish right over here. Now you have to give a little bit of time for the hunter vision to come back. It doesn't constantly work. I don't know exactly how long. I haven't really timed it. But there is a certain length of time that you have to wait before you can use it again. There we go. Okay, I thought I saw a catfish over here, but I don't see him here now. So what you need to do, you need to look around and periodically hit that H button to try to locate these guys. Because really guys, it's pretty much hit or miss without it. These catfish are kind of rare. And finding them is not easy. So what I'm going to do here guys, I'm going to look around and try to find a good spot. Which looks like I'm going to have a catfish that you can probably see when I look at it. And then we're going to see what happens, guys. Alright, guys. I have been hovering right above two catfish right here. And they don't seem to be all that interested. So I'm going to try this technique that I mentioned earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to add some weights to this. Way more than it can handle. What this will do is make this sink right where those catfish are. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right and those two right there are also catfish. See, now it goes all the way to the bottom. And once it sits on bottom, now we're bottom fishing. And that's where the catfish are going to be. So we'll just sit here. Hopefully. One of them will seem a little bit interested. We, all we can do is wait and see. Alright guys. We've been at this for quite a while. I've gotten one nibble. And I lost it. Unfortunately. Let's wait and see. Yep. There's a couple in front of me. And I've been kind of nursing this area. Yeah, that's about time. I just be patient. Let him take it. There we go. Remember to hit that right button, but don't do it too soon because that's what I did earlier. I lost two bites that way. You know, if you don't have that bobber to see, it makes it a little more difficult. So, but he's coming in. Coming in slowly but surely. You got to be careful because these guys can snap this line so easily. Come on, big guy. You're almost here. Almost here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. Damn. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I know catching a largemouth bass is normally a good thing, but when you're after channel cats, yeah, it's the thing. They're also, they like cut bait too. Okay, there's still another one out there. Let's see if he's interested. That's the only thing. I mean, 
Amongst the catfish, there are largemouth bass swimming around too, and every now and then they'll go down to the bottom and grab your bait as well. So, that's also going to make this a little tough. Yeah, these, these channel cats are kind of, kind of elusive. They're kind of elusive here. He's still there. Just have to sit here and be patient. Maybe he'll go for it. Alright. Patience, patience. And it's paying off. Boy, this burger has been... Keeping me busy. I have been trying to chase him down for a while here. But I think I got him. I think I got him. I don't know, guys. I'm not so sure. I don't, I'm not sure that this is a catfish. That's not. But the way it's fighting, it's fighting more like a largemouth. Well... Fiddlesticks. We will get one, guys, but I'm still going to bring this guy in. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. For some reason, the large mouths seem to be really close to the surface, so you'd think that they wouldn't go for it as much on the bottom, but uh, they're not really caring what they do, I guess. Yep, I was right. He's not bad either, a little over four pounds. Yeah, there he is, there's that catfish. Uh, that's the one I've been going after for some time. All right guys, I decided to go ahead and move over here. Try my luck over on this side. See, there's a cat right down there might be another one over there too just got a quick glimpse yeah if I don't get over too far if I'd thrown that over when I was in the corner it would have gotten it would have said I hit an obstacle and one thing I'd found out that there is a bug that can happen that's not a very cool bug by the way And if you sometimes hit an obstacle the right way, it'll... Wait, whoa, whoa, never mind. Hold on. Hold on, Mar. Okay. Yeah, this is a catfish. See how steady he pulls? Yeah, the largemouth bass goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Catfish is just like a log. He just pulls. Yeah, this is a catfish. Finally. Now we can just get him in. <laughs> that is the eternal question. I have gotten... I got recently got one right up to the dock and the damn thing got off the line. Broke it. Like that. <laughs> Gotta be real careful. These guys, like I said, they just... They'll be real relaxed and then every now and then they'll just go zip and they'll snap the line. And that's what they do in real life too. He is going to be a pain in the butt to get up here. Come on. And there he is. I mean, he's not huge, but he is a channel cat. Wish you could see better. The light in here is not wonderful. But 2.29 pounds. All right. There's the channel cats. I wish they were worth a lot more cash than they are for what fight you have to go through to get them. But my understanding is they do come pretty big here. So that's another option if you don't feel like the largemouth are challenging enough. Go after these guys because believe me, they are challenging. I still see that one over there. Okay, we're going to try him for a little while. 
Well, guys, I think that has been enough time here. I think you kind of get the gist of what's going on, but this is going on a little bit long, and I've been fishing literally for about two hours real time. So I think this is probably going to be an episode. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode where I'm going to think we're going to take a look at striped bass this time. Anyway, guys, until then, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.